Welcome to my YouTube channel please subscribe, like, comment and share the video. Your support is highly appreciated, thank you. I'm the first person to be permanently suspended on Twitter Jeez. in the world before Trump. Some of us come from politically affiliated families, myself included. I come from a politically protected family. And from the politically protected families and their kids, I was him dope who I was with in primary school. <laughs> yeah, no. At Radford House, a boutique private school. Sim Dope got that scar on his mouth while climbing a tree with me. He fell out of that tree and onto a concrete block, which had steel reinforcement bars, which went through his mouth and then out his cheek. And they had to saw it off. Not one tear dropped down Sim Dope's eyes. I watched him the entire time. They removed that steel rod from him, right? They removed him from the concrete that it was attached to after sawing it off with the vibrations of the saw. He did not cry. And he said, big boys don't cry. Keenan begged me to manage him many, many times. I knew that Keenan is such a cash cow, you can't manage an AKA because you'll have many enemies. Keenan and I couldn't speak publicly, publicly anymore. Our phones were being bugged, our phones were being tracked. They were trying to, to convict my friend of murder. I'll tell you a lie. I went while I was in LA. I was AKA. I was sim dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? As if AKA wasn't there and I was coming back as sim dope. And um, I ended up sitting at the same table as Jamie Foxx. What? I put myself in a position where I am a gatekeeper. Do you understand? I decide who makes it. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. That's what I did when the cops came to arrest me. Hey, do you think I was going to go and sit inside the court? No, I made sure that my lawyer sorts out the prosecutor. The prosecutor said, no, we're not prosecuting this. The file is thrown out and everything else. I don't want my records to be out there in the courts to have been on the court roll. I don't even want to be on the court roll. I was completely expunged. It cost me 15,000 rands. My problem is nowhere. Your problem is here. We are now you're on TV right now. Ninens are famous, Nina. Nidom. So he calls and he's talking. Shut up, shut up, Wena. Shut up, Wena. I don't know what to do with the sun. I'm going to tell you what to do. You need help. You need help. Mental asylum. I've been tested by four psychiatrists, you know, and they all cleared me. No, I saw. I saw. Sol, 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 listen, dog. <laughs> nah. Nah. Don't blow the phone. Yeah, aye, aye. Ah, there's no ways. No ways. No ways. No ways. No ways. No ways, no ways, no ways, no ways, no ways. Wama ngemo te metro cop, unjuli robot el pugile. Ama hobo a direct traffic. We poise, we are, ah ah, puti, puti, this is a free country, this is a public road, you cannot move me, you cannot touch me, this is a public road, uh, I, I, it's, uh, it's not against the law, it's not, I, I'm not, I'm not harassing you, I'm not harassing you, uzongenzan, 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 no ways. You're, you're leaving the traffic lights open. You're leaving the traffic lights open. Suga, Suga, you assault me. If you assault me, I will get you arrested. I will get you arrested. You move. Officer, you can't pass the traffic lights. Our street. Hold on. It's my street. This is the public road. You don't touch me. I've got you on camera. You do anything right now. I've got this number plate. You can't pass the traffic lights. People are going to die on the street. You're supposed to do your job. We pay taxes, man. You can't leave! So yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, nice thing is that it's safe enough to walk home in the middle of the night holding your phone in the middle of the city, but I mean, that's only because, you know, the only real threats are people who are visibly mentally ill. I wouldn't even call them junkies or drug addicts or crackheads and they're mentally ill. 
you know, they need help. They need compassion. And in this city, people don't even greet you when you walk in the streets. You know, you're just another person. And unless they know you, you know, they don't show any compassion for you. And it just makes me wonder, you know, what does that do to people? How do they live with themselves? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Your support is highly appreciated. Thank you.